Right, oh, welcome, welcome. We are here. And, um, as you can probably tell by the title of the stream, video, video, we stream, here we go. AP Class 90, bam, it exists now. And I've already made a couple of consists with it, but I've not tested it out yet. I've already favoured it, so I've already had a little bit of a look. But I don't know whether this is the light engine. Here it is, that's the light engine consist I made. So we are just going to have a play around with this class 90. <clears throat> and apparently it's really good. I mean, I've spent some time learning the keys and everything and how to get it to move, but I've not really experienced it in its full, full potential, full speed, full annoying DSD. Because I've seen some videos on it and it has a DSD, a driver safety device, and it's bad. <sighs> And we go for load times. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Nice West Coast mainline say because um, my Steam account's connected to my to another person's Steam account. It's the other person who has all of the games and the DLC, and then that's shared over to me. Always gives me adverts for things I've already got, and quite occasionally it gives me adverts for things that I'm loading up to play, which doesn't quite make sense, honestly. But I don't know. I'm confused. It. <clears throat> Sorry, just smack the microphone. And the best thing about these packs is it's in the rolling stock set, so. AP have made all of this themselves. It's not, it's not like the enhancement packs, which takes the base model and then makes it better. It's the actual they've actually made it, so it means I don't have to spend like fifteen quid on them um, buying the um, Great Eastern Mainline Class Ninety, which is pro, so I'll probably never drive it, and then spend another X amount of money on um, the enhancement pack. Hopefully there's going to be a March sale, because last year there was a March sale, and the year before that there was a March sale, which seems pretty good. Um, I know Train Sim 2021 wasn't out two years ago, but um, Train Sim 2019 was. Yeah, and um, so I'm hoping there is going to be a Steam sale on that stuff, so I'll take the opportunity to pick up some of the best DLC. Oh, here we go. Lovely. Faults enabled. DSD enabled. Visual alarms disabled. No faults. That is a good start. And here it is. It looks amazing. I wouldn't... Train simulator is complicated in the fact that you can't... So, I don't want this pantograph up, but you can't have that. Unless there is some way that I'm just missing. Right. That's my favourite feature. So, con control and Z. It's the master key out. Uh, oh, it's nice it has the toggle keys here. So, F for the DRA out. And. Knew it. 
that. So if I just... That's the DSD. I can hear the train starting to make some um, train noises. So I'm hoping... Oh, the tail light's on. I'm going to assume it's the same. Yeah, it is the same. Do I want... No, I don't want to do that because that'll be nightmare. Oh, God, there's a foot warmer. Oh, I can't turn it on. There's a foot warmer in the... Um, 9182 and you can turn it on which makes me happy which is understandable considering this is basically a 91 but freight well they were both meant to be mixed mixed traffic one went to well 91's went to permanent passenger and I think the 90's kind of went to freight but then 90's have been turned on passenger service as well as well which explains why it's got these weird horns on instead of the normal just like the high-low so I think anyway enough about me ranting about um, Brel's masterpiece uh, I think it's just gonna oh it's moving without works for me just, just apply, a, apply a little bit of power teensy bit of power small bit of power So good. Things you can't turn the tail lights on because that that's a complicated business. And I'm not going to get into that. Oh wait, I need to be alert because DSD's a thing. Also, I'm not going to be doing the neutral sections. ADD, automatic something drop. Hello, Mr. 87. Right, crank it up to full throttle. Oh boy! Oh wow! That speedometer is going up quickly. Absentmindedly not paying attention, thinking the fact that the um, oh the signals are just going to switch because they do that sometimes. They get um, they go to amber, double amber, no double amber, amber, and then they just go green. That's our station. But it went red, and I didn't realise until I was about a half mile away from the signal. So I had to. I didn't put it in emergency braking because penalty emergency braking application and all that stuff. 
But, I'll just point this out here, the full, the full service braking is going to be good. I might turn visualise alarms on, so let's just go on to Armstrong Powerhouse and figure out what the hotkeys are for that. Also, the inconvenient thing is the fact that um, the Isolate DSD the Isolate DSD button is exactly the same as my start recording button for the radio overlay. So it provides a problem, which means I've got, now I've got about five different recordings of the inside the inside of a cab of a um, Class 90, just trying to isolate the flipping DSD. Uh, rolling stock locomotive. Class 90. I might buy the Class 90 and Mark III pack as well. I might do. It's expensive for what it is, but it'll be worth it because freight line great. Right, ma manual. And also, I did have to get the realistic branding patch to get the freight liner things on, but it's just another download. That is the cab. Ah, uh, here we go. Where is it? Visual aids, control and number pad enter. And visual alarms are on. It would look a lot better if that was with a full rake of um, wagons, which I'll showcase. I'll showcase the FWA spy wagons later. There's three different types included. There's normal, there's just a, there's an empty one, there's a high Q one, and there's a standard one. So the high Q are like normal containers, but taller. By about, not much. So if we slow down to about, hang on. Aha! Speed tip. because I feel like we have a deceleration coming up. So. See, the speed set is useful. I thought it was rubbish. I thought it was rubbish just because I couldn't figure out how to get it to work because I was only applying like 50% of the power. So if we now... DSD. It's automatically off in the pendolinos and I can't figure out how to turn it on. However, this one is automatically on and beeps you would be like five seconds. It gets really annoying when you're just trying to have a leisurely cruise. Why is the speed going down? I don't think I will allow this. Uh, you 
because they're always up. There's always the other train spotter at the box of mine, so I'll just give them a couple when we go in. Maybe more than a couple because I'm not strong. 110 will be able to pull it up to max. I am not speeding. Maybe I am speeding. I'm not speeding anymore. my WhatsApp. Accelerate this first one is towing 30 um, thirty um, FWA wagons fully, lo well, fully loaded to an extent because they're never fully loaded. Never fully, fully, fully. I think I messed that up. I've not messed that up, which is surprising actually. Because I hit E and it didn't. And then I had to hit E again. And it was, it was like 10 It was like 10 seconds after the actual DSD had gone off.
Five miles to Carnforth is a good flu. I'm going to have to seriously start breaking because the crossover's like that. I'm on 10 marker, I think. See it there? It's that 15, which makes me worried. Because if I slow down too much... I'm going to really need to start slowing down. Full service braking. Full service braking is the most effective way of slowing down when you've got a light, when you've got a full load. Quite useful actually, the visual alarms. cheeky stuff at the signal in order to give me, well, I'm usually at Carnforth for this sort of thing, so if I saw a light loco move to the um, to the down and up goods loop from a T-bait loop and it was past this electric loco, I'd be out like a bullet out of a gun. I tell you honestly. platform. G shift G, change the... Oh, as I said we are going to do a little dummy stop here. Oh, I'm going to put the signal on, so... Wow, that's slightly fast. That is slightly fast. That is slightly too fast. The 
audio is really good as well. And also, as I said, little features that make me pleased. Armrest. I think the Spyrax take the Spyrax ticket is from the eighty-seven. <laughs> to hit the spad signal and see whether they do let me pass. That's speeding. So I'm just gonna lay off on the acceleration, braking. Yay! I'm gonna stop at the end actually. It said stop to zero out of one destination, even though I did make my destination. Anyway, how long have I been on for? How long was that going? I don't know. Twenty six. So I think we'll just do it again. Do that again. But aha! No, I have a better idea. No, I don't have. Mm, What's that new DLC? New DLC. Oh, yeah. GWR do like their tanks, don't they? <laughs> that came out wrong. Do like their tank engines, don't they? FWA Rail Freight. Yum. Righto. This is one that I've made myself. This reminds me of the Cobridge to Crew. This is basically trying to be the Cobridge to Crew. Is there a Cobridge to Daventry on like Sundays or something? Just look that up real quick. Cobridge to Felixstowe? Where's, um, where's Felixstowe? Ooh, that's a long way down. That is a long way down. Wowzers. That's, um, Colchester area. It's past Colchester. I'm gonna try and do that, actually, but nah. <laughs> Be a bit impossible. Grangemouth to Daventry. No, that ha that does that goes every day. Cribbersall to Cobridge, Cobridge to Cribbersall, Daventry to Grangemouth. Why are there two different Grangemouths? This is just confusing. London Gateway to Cobridge. I'm just giving you basically the freight in like two in the morning for you guys around my area. Cribbersall to Cobridge at five in the morning. Shep to Ashton. Doubt that will be running. If it sounds interesting, it probably isn't running. Bishop Stoughton reception to Conf White. What is that? Oh, of course. It's obfuscated. Moss End to Daventry. I have Moss End. I have Moss End. Daventry to Moss End. There's two Moss Ends, which is the problem. There's Moss End Down Yard and there's Moss End Euro Terminal. There's also two Daventries. There's Daventry International Railway Reception Terminal and Daventry DRS Tesco. Yeah, there's no Cobridge to Daventry. Well, there is now. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, ooh. So I'm just getting about, I'm getting excited about stuff that probably isn't it's never gonna run. What's popping on Sunday? Penrith North likes to carve with bottom end sidings. Doubt that will be running. Grimsworth Coatbridge, chat. Oh, Champions Carl King will be cute. Here we go. Right, we're in. So, reversed, but now that's freight. And a lot of it. Is 
Was this on? No, this train isn't on. Why does he have an... Um, flashing tail lamp. I approve. Most containers. Realistic branding patch works wonders. So anybody with the um, Trent Valley with the Mega Freight containers will know that um, I think the, um, to avoid copyright they made Merce Kamisk or something like that. GSMR. So you can't fiddle with the GSMR. Because you can, you can do. Okay, that's new. <laughs> um. Right, nice. I think I'm going to end the stream here. Sorry, it's a bit incomplete. I